Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. And this is Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, this epic action RPG was first released as a PS4 exclusive in February 2017. It was later released on PC last summer, although the PC version was unplayable because of a movement glitch that wasn't corrected until about six months later. That was a deal breaker for me, even though I didn't actually buy the PC version. Um, I heard about it and I said, there's no way I'm going to... You know deal with that I couldn't deal with it even though some said it wasn't that bad and they could deal with it there were many others that said no this is unplayable and that would have been me anyway that's not my horizon zero dawn story this is my horizon zero dawn story it's kind of a stupid story bear with me but this is how it went down um, as some of you know I bought a ps4 uh, about two years ago I've been primarily a PC gamer strictly for the past 20 years Finally decided um, after making real walkthroughs for 12 years here on YouTube that um, basically my gaming experience was being really, how should we say, uh, biased by the obligation to make walkthroughs. Um, long story short, I was looking at every game in terms of will this make a good walkthrough or not. And that's it. That was my gaming experience. And that's not the way I used to be. I used to be like a gamer, like, you know, I sit back on the couch and just game my face off, you know, but the, I started way back with the, the PlayStation 1, and I was originally a console gamer, and then I turned into a PC gamer, but yeah, and I decided I wanted, um, I wanted some games that were just for me, that some games I just played for fun, I went into the living room, I'm, it's time off, and I'm relaxing, leisure time, which, which I have very little of, by the way, but I just have some leisure time. And I wanted to have a game that I can play that has nothing to do with YouTube. So I went up and bought a PS4, and I bought four games. Um, two of them I didn't like. Uh, they'll go unmentioned. Some of you know what, the, what these games are. I've mentioned this before. Two of them I didn't like. One of them was too hard, <laughs> because um, after 20 years of PC gaming, I just totally suck at the PlayStation controller. I really suck. I'm getting a little better now, but I totally suck. I still suck. Uh, one of them was too hard, even though I really liked it. And the fourth one was Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, so after trying the other three, I decided, okay, I'm going to try Horizon Zero Dawn. I boot it up, and, you know, I, I start playing the intro, and I'm going, what the hell is this? I'm playing as a six-year-old little girl? You know, this this is like blatant false advertising. I'm looking at the box going, this is not what's on the box. I don't want to play a game as a little girl. So I tried it for like 10 or 15 minutes. I know, really stupid, eh? And uh, I said, no, no, this is not for me. <laughs> this is not for me. And I just shelled it for six months. Just completely shelled it. Then, uh, I think it was about, maybe about a year ago. I think it was about a year ago. Like last, not last spring but the spring before that um, I was browsing around on the internet and I bumped into this interview uh, with Hugo Martin the uh, lead developer for Doom Eternal and I'm reading through this interview and I hear him mention that Horizon Zero Dawn is one of his favorite games and I'm like what? Z like Hugo Martin the, the lead developer of the most badass first person shooter in the history of the universe his cool? favorite game video game is where you play as a six-year-old little girl that can't be right so i decided to try it again so i boot up horizon zero dawn on my ps4 again i play through the intro and then i get to the part where you get to adult aloy you know and then i go oh oh i get it now the intro is just the, the little six-year-old little girl that's just like the the in-game tutorial okay you really play as this woman you know, this full grown adult woman. That's that's what the whole game is about. That's what's on the cover. So I said, oh, I, I get it now, I get it now. So then I started playing it. Absolutely loved it. Loved it. Played it to death. Even though I still suck with the PS4 controller. And um, I was struggling through it too. I was really struggling through it because I can't, I can't hit the broad side of a barn door with my controller. And I heard about it coming out on PC. And um, I was really excited, and then when I heard about the movement glitch, I said, ah, oh, damn it. You know, so it's you know. like, okay, so this is this is my game, this is my Saturday game, my day off game, and I'm not going to tell anybody. And I was like, very, I'm keeping it very close to my chest, I'm not going to tell anybody I'm playing this game, this is just for me to have fun. And then last Christmas, I heard they came out with a patch that fixed the movement glitch. 
and I I just couldn't resist. And um, sorry, that's a, a timer I have for something else. Um, yeah, I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist, so I, I immediately ran out and uh, looked it up online and bought Horizon Zero Dawn on for the PC and uh, started playing it. And I was like, oh my god, this is so much fun because now I can hit shit. You know, on my PS4, I, I can't hit the broadside of a barn door. I was really struggling through a lot of the boss fights. And, <clears throat> pardon me, and now I'm like, you know, oh, this is fantastic. I love it. So, so then there's my little inner YouTuber said, do a walkthrough, Rob. Do a walkthrough. Come on, do a walkthrough. They're going to love it. They're going to love it. So, here I am. This game, okay, people, this was originally meant for me. It's supposed to be my game, my leisure game. But I'm bringing it to you because it's such a fucking great game. Pardon my language, but it's a great game. I love it. It's epic. It's an action RPG. You get to play as one of the most, seriously, hands down, my favorite video game character to date. I just love Aloy. She rocks. All right. So that's it. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Um, tell you what. Let's play a little joke on all those that decided to skip the intro okay I'm gonna say something really outlandish um, like right at the end of this and I'm gonna make the intro I'm gonna put a timestamp saying the intro ends here and then I'm gonna say something really outlandish so that people who skip the intro will go what wait a minute how do you they'll make them do a double take okay so don't don't breathe a word about this in the comments okay I'm gonna say something really outlandish Okay, so just a little pause for the cause. And that's how you make 2,000 metal shards in the first 10 minutes of the game. So, um, that's it for the intro. Um, walkthrough starts now. Major Slack Videos. Okay, here we go. Walkthrough starts now. Uh, difficulty settings. You have story, easy, normal, hard, very hard, and ultra hard. I'm reading from the... Uh, by the way, I own the official Horizon Zero Dawn game guide. This thing is a whopping 800 and something pages long. It's it's humongous. I got the like the hardcover deluxe version, 800 pages plus long. The damn thing weighs 10 pounds. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. This this thing you could work out lifting up this thing. Um, yeah. So um, yeah, I have this in my possession. So please, no backseat gaming. I've got everything I need to know here. Plus, you know, I, ex you know, like I said, played this extensively on uh, my PS4 and um, and my PC. Okay, for your convenience, I'm just going to list on the screen here the exact difference in how much damage you deal to enemies and how much damage you take from enemies uh, with regards to all these difficulty settings here. All right, so you can see all those values there. As you see, story is way easy. Normal is like, you know, default and it gets progressively harder and harder. Enemies do more damage and you take more damage. Ultra hard has these other things as well. The economy is completely nerfed. Everything is like way more expensive and uh, it's harder to knock down enemies and your elemental attacks are nerfed. Um, this is really for elitists. Okay, so I'm going to play this on the, the highest reasonable difficulty setting very hard. This is not to say that the game is easy. Um, I would say it's quite challenging actually, but it's an epic game. It's a long game, so uh, I'm only going to have time to do one walkthrough, obviously. So let's do it on the highest reasonable difficulty setting. Don't worry if you're an average gamer and uh, you're not accustomed to playing games on higher difficulty settings. Don't worry, I'm going to get you through this. I'm going to test all these strategies on my PS4. Like I said, I suck on the PS4. So if I could do it, you could do it. I'm going to try to make this as console friendly as possible. I can see a huge, huge difference in being able to aim on the PC and being able to aim on the console. So there's that. Um, that's it. Let's play it on very hard. Let's go. What's that now? Don't like the cold? 
Hence to end today, we have a ritual to perform, you and I. your name, girl. But will the goddess speak it back? Normally, it would be the mother who declares, if you had one. The whole village would attend and matriarchs perform the ritual, but we are outcasts. Even so, we keep the tribe's rituals. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. But their wickedness doomed them. To us, were left the splendors of creation, beasts of air, water, earth, and steel. It is one thing to hunt a beast, another to hunt a machine. You must be humble and respect their power. I will teach you this. One day. No, 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 off your knees. It's nearly time. And yes, you may speak to me. You came to bless the naming. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you. But we are outcasts. You by choice. And she, well... I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. Then you honor us. Yes, yes, now go and be ready to declare. Go! Oh, mother, this child needs a name by which to know her. That your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms all the earth. Speak her name! Aloy! And so her name is blessed. Stop this at once! What have you done? I've blessed the naming of a child. Stubborn woman, you call that curse a child? What did she tell you about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you asked. To raise it, yes. We said nothing of love. Enough! And you, blessing its name like it was one I of I know my duty to them. Tribe. And to you. Without consultation. I'm here. And wherever you go, I will follow.
That's a lot of berries. You're quite the gatherer, aren't you, little bast? Now go and see if you can find some more, hmm? Well done, that's a good boy. Children, come with me. She's an outcast to be shunned. There. Oh, come on. There. And so it begins. Slacky, there I am here. I just, just didn't want to ruin the moment. Okay, so now we have taken control of six-year-old Aloy. This is the in-game tutorial part of the game. Um, nothing you do here will carry over into the adult Aloy part, which is the whole rest of the game. All right, so this is just basically an in-game tutorial. Looks tight, but I can get through. Oh, you can crouch. There you go. This little kid is so this adorable. This must be a ruin <laughs> of the metal world. One of the old places. She's in their bare feet, too. Ew. It's crazy. Okay. Ross said we never go in places like this. But I have to find a way out. Alright, so you heard the kid? We have to find our way out. Pick that up. We need that. Don't be afraid. Go back. Had a girl. Let's slap that sucker on. There we go. Alright, this is our focus ability. We're going to be using this extensively throughout the game. It's going to be like, you know, basically you can't play the game without it. Alright. Let's you see things that you wouldn't normally be able to see. Alright, so we got that. Let's continue. Yellow diamond is the quest door. marker. Close. Maybe this device I found can help. Maybe we can. Use the device to scan the room. Alright, scan the room. Door. Glass door heavily shielded, sealed integrity maintained. Let's scan over here. A shape. It's connected to the door somehow. Eh? What about this thing? More lights. Yeah, let's go check that out.
By the way, these are the ruins. We are coming back here later on in the game. I'm fully aware of that, of course. So I'm not going to mention anything about what we can find here. That will come later. Um, for now, all I have to do is just turn this thing. Either way, twice. Clockwise or counterclockwise. And that will open the door. Door is open. All right. Changed so. color. Ooh, changed color. Let's go back to the door. The door changed color too. There we go. See, there's one of the things we'll be able to pick up later on when we can come back. Um, and we'll have a weapon and we'll be able to break through this stuff. Anyways, like I said, we'll talk about that later. That's a power cell. What's a power cell? Slack, I'll talk about that later. For now, let's get out of here. What's that? Oh, user joy. User focus. Here we go. You think I want it this way? It's the best I can do. He's right behind you. Hi! <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. <laughs> Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Show me. Show me again. I can do. He's right behind you. Hi! Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. <laughs> Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Squeeze through the gap. Okay, we can do that. Here. What happens then? He found me. Frost found me. Oh, mother be praised. Come, girl. Take my hand. You don't belong down there. Come. Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. What is that on your face? Nothing. Did you find it down there? No. Nope. Give it to me. No. Aloy, such things are dangerous. No! Sneaking away from home, you'll need to know how to survive in the wild. Come, Aloy. Home now. But starting tomorrow, you will learn to hunt. muttering to that plaything. We descend to the valley now. Follow. The 
The wilds can be dangerous, Aloy. You will need to stay close and do as I say. I know. Now, you're still scratched up from that fall you took yesterday. So let's start there. Take this medicine pouch, and I'll show you how to fill it. See this plant over here? It's called salve brush. Come, gather its berries in your pouch. It's a beautiful game, eh? This hey, is Lloyd, Yeah, yeah, okay, we're just tripping out here. Berries. Okay, quiet, you were doing a walkthrough here. Okay, pick the medicinal salve brush. Good. Now eat the berries. Okay, health bar is in the top left corner. It's the red bar, and the green bar is like your supply of health, which you can use to refill your health bar. They may taste bitter, but they can save your life. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries, flowers, and plants. Where are we? This valley is just a part of All Mother's Embrace. Embrace? The Nora tribe watches these lands and keeps out the most dangerous machines, usually. Further down river, we'll find a herd of machines, and I will teach you how to hunt. Are they dangerous? All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be respected. But I will be beside you. Hmm. Aloy. A machine's coming. Crouch and follow me into the tall grass. Okay, do what he says. Crouch and follow me into the tall grass. There. Now stay low. Little one. No, Aloy. Such machines are called watchers. You must learn to avoid their gaze. If you are to survive in the wilds, I will show you. Listen close and do as I do. Stay still. Wait for it to pass. Keep low, and follow me across the trail to that tall grass. Oh, another one. Let it pass. Come, back this way. The slower you move, the quieter you'll be. And crouched walking is quieter than upright. That's one distinct advantage that the PS4 has over the PC version is that you can, using the left joystick, you can move as fast or as slow as you want, as you all know, because it's like, you know, it's analog, right? So, um, yeah, on, P on the PC version, it's just either go or stop. So, yeah, that's one distinct advantage. Also, you may have sought out a little notification. Here's the uh, the menus. I'll get more into this in part two, but you may saw a notification that about uh, the watcher. So go to notebook, machine catalog, and here are all the machines that you encounter throughout the game are going to be listed here and what they're all about and how to defeat them. All right, I'll get more into that later. Wait for it. That's the last of them. Let's move on. You did well. They didn't see or hear you. Now stay close. That herd should be just ahead. She's so freaking cute. It's, it's, it just cracks me right up. I'm a bare feet. Ignore him. But why is he up there? He's smiling at us. Tab! Get back where you belong! Tab! Where are you? Ignore him. We are outcasts and he is of the tribe. Maybe he doesn't like the tribe. And he is a fool. 
Come now. Let's find that herd. Follow. By the way, nothing you pick up here will carry over into adult Aloy's inventory. There. So, see them? These are called striders. Ha! Get! Why'd you chase them all? <sighs> to show you how some machines startle easily if they detect you and run away. They're best approached by stealth. Don't worry. We'll catch up with them further down the valley. You'll see. Now, I want you to find some rocks that fit the cup of your hand. Why? Do as I say, Aloy, and gather the rocks. I will show you how to use them. All right, new objective. Collect three rocks. Good. That's it. Those will do. Follow. You could collect more, but like I said, it doesn't make a difference. So, just do what he says. There's the herd. All right, it's time to throw some rocks. But rocks can't hurt machines, right? No, but they can distract them, draw them into traps. Like that watcher over there. It must be dealt with, or it will warn the herd and send them running before we get in range. Warn them? How? The machines speak to each other, Aloy, unless they are first silenced. Now you stay here on the ridge. On my signal, throw rocks and draw the watcher over to me. Wait for my signal. Aloy, throw a rock near me. Okay, there is frost. Throw a throw rock near me. To draw the watcher towards me. There. Come, girl, it's safe now. And you can retrieve the rocks that you throw. Harvest the kill so I can teach you how to make arrows. Ooh, metal shards and a sparker. Good. Now, gather stalks of Ridgewood from the plants over there. Okay, this is Ridgewood. These tall, like, bee-like shaped uh, little trees here. Gonna be collecting a ton of this throughout the game. Use the stalks as arrow shafts and metal shards for arrow heads. All right, um, crafting. You see me throughout the game. Here you can't access it, but I always use, I always do crafting using the crafting menu here. But you can also use the weapon wheel to do crafting. On the PS4, I always use the weapon wheel. On the PC version, I always use this because they just find it a lot. It just suits me. Don't ask me why. It's personal preference. That's the way I like it. So, uh, yeah, in the game, you're going to be saying, Hey, Slack, did you know? Yes, I know. Um, okay, so let's craft some arrows. You'll never run out of arrows if you know how to craft what you need. Let's put those arrows to use. Follow. Stay low on the grass, and be quiet. It is time to make your first kill, Aloy. The Strider, one of the weaker machines. But even a weak machine can kill a hunter, if she's careless. You must study your brain. Its hide is thick, but there are spots where it is vulnerable. Like its eye. Can you guess another?
Okay, now we have to use our focus and scan the strider. Ooh, look here. The cat is still on its back. Is that a weakness? Yes. How did you guess that? The device. It showed me. But that plaything? Stop playing games. Now, take down that strider. Target the eye or the canister. And if it charges, be ready to roll out of the way. Okay, forget about the eye. Hit the canister first. And if you like scan it first, it'll kind of like highlight the canister for like a few seconds afterwards to make it easier to hit. Here we go. And, oh yeah. And try to aim for the eye, but it doesn't really matter. Just aim for it, and you'll eventually kill it. Keep firing. You did well today, but you have much to learn. Tomorrow, we train again. What was that? That boy. The one running the brave trails. Follow Eloy, quick. Stop telling stories. I'm not. I can sneak through. You will not. Okay, this is basically an in-game tutorial about how to sneak using using your focus. What you can do is you can use your focus, tag a target, see it's got a little arrow above it, and you can highlight its track. So that when you come out of focus, its track is highlighted. That way you can keep track of where it's going to move and move accordingly. You only have one, one track highlighted at the time. Okay, so we gotta get over there to that yellow diamond there, that's a quest marker. So let's highlight this guy's track. He's gonna come over this way. He'll probably go now, but I wanna take a chance. Alright, nothing to see here. Off you go. Very good. He goes in the other direction. Let's make our move. Got to be careful. Okay, we got a strider here and a watcher. The watchers patrol, the striders just kind of stand around the graze, so you only really have to worry about the watchers. I need to see their paths. That is, you only have to worry about the watchers kind of like patrolling and being like kind of like a variable they have, you know what I mean? The striders will also spot you. 
but they don't really have a patrol room. Okay, so let's go over here into this tall grass. Basically leapfrogging from there. one patch of tall grass to the other. Let's just wait for this guy to go back. Sneak behind him. I just did that out of sheer habit. There he is. <laughs> Alright, new objective. Get over there. It's 52 feet away, or paces How feet. Let's we'll call it feet. Them. We got a watcher here. Let's tag him and highlight his track. He's gonna patrol around. We'll wait for that. Made it. So, it is no plaything. Wait. Oh, Mother, bless that girl. Bless you both. Boy! Save me. I, I just wanted. Boy! Seal your lips. They are outcasts, both. And she is motherless. Come now. Back to Mother's heart. Give me a smack upside the head. Uh, you. Yeah, give me a smack. Ah, <laughs> boy. <laughs> Boy should not have spoken to us. It's against tribal law. We'll go home now. Follow. I know the way. Seal your lips. Seal your lips. Seal your lips. Seal your lips. Stay away, no mother! <sighs> Alright, sometimes you get options, dialogue options on about how to proceed. And it's basically aggressive thinking or like, you know, uh, this is aggressive, that's the thinking option, this is the passionate option. Let's go for aim for his head. I know what happens, but I'm just going to show you what happens. Hey, Loy. We cannot. Dang it. <laughs> nice try, Aloy. Children, away from there. Back to picking berries. <laughs> You're bleeding. Let me have a look. Here, hold still. I'll get it. Why? Shh. Why am I an outcast? Aloy, this is not the time. Who was my mother? Aloy, I've told you before. That's not for us to know. 
You were just a newborn when the Matriarchs brought you to me. So the Matriarchs, they know? <sighs> it's not so simple. But they know. Aloy, we are outcasts. So how do I make them tell me? The Matriarchs? There is a way, perhaps. So tell me. It would be dangerous. How? It would take years of training. I don't care. How do I do it? Tell me. The proving. The tribe's rite of passage held every year. Those who pass become braves. But to the one who wins, the matriarchs grant a boon. A boon? Yes, whatever the winner wants. Then I'll do it. <laughs> whatever it takes. I'll win the proving. I see. We'd best get started then. Your training will be hard. And it'll take years. Start training? Yes. Follow. <laughs> I love that part. Follow! <laughs> All right, time to learn to become a Jedi. Use the Force, say life. We got this, Rust. We got this. Alright, so Aloy is now an adult and she kicks ass. Rust? 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 Where is he? Two days before the proving and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that. Alright, so after you finish the in-game tutorial, you automatically go to level 3 and you get 3 skill points to spend. I'm going to do all this the first thing next video because this has been a long video. Uh, for now, you want to save the game. You can save the game at all campfires. Here is the map. We're confined to... Um, a certain territory for now and I'll talk more about that how we get liberated from this territory it's a huge map there is lots to explore including the DLC section so um yeah campfires everywhere you see a campfire you can go there and save the game either a quick save or a manual save let's do a manual save because this is a very important part let's go up this up here press that button whatever it is and this is a manual save I had from practice run let's just overwrite that and we are done that's it thanks a lot for watching and um 
If this walkthrough helped you out, hey, post a comment. I'd love to hear from my target audience. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel because it really helps out. It helps you out too because you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So it begins. So it begins. Horizon Zero Dawn. This is the beginning of the game. The, the true beginning of the game. All right. And this is going to, we're going to pick up here first thing next video in part two. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. Alright? Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.